Hi Taurus, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you and we'll find out what messages spirits have for you. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. What's happening with Taurus? What's happening with Taurus? We have the High Priestess. This is Pisces energy. And then we have the Lovers. This is Gemini energy. There's someone here. That you're connecting with Taurus. There's, your intuition's telling you something about this connection. What's happening with Taurus? What's happening with Taurus? We, we have major arcana showing up here. I have Sagittarius energy now with temperance. Something about patience. We're going to go back and clarify the cards. But your intuition's telling you something about this connection. We have the Six of Swords. This is you moving into calmer water. Emotionally moving into calmer water. Some of you could literally be moving too when this energy shows up. The center card of your reading is the Six of Wands, success and victory. This is earned success. We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I feel like you're in... <clears throat> You're in rocky water, but you're staying in control of your emotions, being patient about something. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is a messenger. This is someone taking action. I just want to make sure you guys can see the cards. Taurus. We have the fool. So someone's getting ready to take a leap of faith, Taurus. It's this messenger right here that's showing up in your energy. It's a very slow. And then we have the seven of wands. I'm seeing you guarding yourself, protecting yourself. Okay, why is the High Priestess hair spirits? We have the Nine of Wands. The Four of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. There's a connection here that... You're using your intuition about... There's something here that you're feeling energetically using your intuition and your intuition is right on point there's somebody here down on their knees with the nine of wands energy this person's very tired sleeping a lot 
And whoever this is, I'm not sure what's going to play out here, but whoever this person is, they're showing up here as the Page of Pentacles. So this is someone bringing, bringing you a message. This is a message coming to you. Let's try to get more information. I'm seeing them in their head thinking about doing this right now. Why are the lovers here? We have the Seven of Swords. Wow. Could be dealing with a Pisces with the hangman showing up on the bottom of the deck. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn here. This person did something pretty terrible with the Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing. Put you in a third party situation, I feel like, with the Lover's card showing up here. And with the Five of Swords, they were very cold to you. Were They were giving you the cold shoulder. They show up as the devil, so this person, it's a possibility that they have some type of an addiction, and this is also Capricorn energy, but this person was very cold to you. And your intuition was telling you that they what they were doing, you... I feel like you knew, you knew what was going on with this person, but you were being patient with them. Why is temperance here? Whoever this person is over here, I'm seeing they that there were probably words and arguments spoken about this new love because I'm seeing this person chose new love. And I see you here, Taurus, as you're very stable, loving, giving, kind person showing up as the king of pentacles. The gender doesn't matter here, but a very strong energy of someone being very stable. And I'm seeing here that, that you taking control and moving, moving on. I feel like you really tried to to help this person. But you have you have to move on with the 6 of swords showing up here. You're moving into calmer water. This person is causing you a lot of conflict, a headache. Why is the 6 of swords here? We have the Ace of Swords. The Two of Cups. And the Tower. There's some type of truth in this connection, this is a soulmate connection. There's some type of truth that I feel like your intuition's telling you about this truth. You knew this truth. And um, whatever this truth is, it's caused a tower moment. And so you're moving into a calmer water emotionally now from a di very difficult place. But this is something that
that all of a sudden just ended, boom. Or it will be soon. Why is the why is the six of wands here, spirits? Center card of your reading is the six of wands. We have the hermit, Virgo energy. It's not a it's not an easy ending. It's a very painful ending with the tower and the ten of swords. A huge betrayal. Someone put these swords into your back. They were doing something behind your back. And so I'm seeing an ending showing up here. This person... The communication could have went down to very little with the hermit showing up here. I feel like they're in hermit mode. This could be a Scorpio, a Libra. I've got a lot of, a lot of major arcanas here. But there's an ending. And... Justice is here. This person's getting some type of karma for what they've done with justice showing up here. Because I see you receiving some type of recognition or victory right here with the Six of Wands. This is success, a victory. So what's going on here? Because there's an ending. Little to no communication. I'm seeing that you went within. The scales are being balanced. There's karma. This person has to pay their karma. Why is the king of cups here? We have the stars. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. The eight of pentacles. And the Two of Swords. Your energy is like magic with the Hierophant and the Magician showing up right here. There's You're looking for a higher level of commitment somewhere in your life. This could have something to do with your money. It has something to do with success and victory, something that you're manifesting. It's a higher level of commitment. It's a wish fulfillment. I'm seeing you staying in control of your emotions when it comes to this situation. This is someone that you do have a lot of love for. But I'm seeing you working on a wish. The star card is a wish. And I'm seeing you very focused on something here that you're working on. That you don't mind working on. It's something that you like. The Two of Swords. Not making a decision. You're kind of closed off. Closing yourself off from this person's decisions that they made. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? We have the Magician. So there's good news showing up here when it comes to something that you're manifesting, Taurus. There's a new start for you. I'm seeing you here in the Queen of Swords energy. This is, this is you making head over heart decision. Again, you're making a decision because you've been trying to juggle to try to keep up. This person, I feel like, was a balancing act, kind of like a child-type energy. And so they caused you to be stuck because you had to keep balance. 
with this person's manipulations. And I'm seeing good news showing up right here. This could be a new job. But it's something that you are manifesting for yourself. It's a huge opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles showing up. And it's a new start. It's something that's not small. It's huge. And I'm seeing you taking a leap of faith and going into the unknown. You're not exactly sure what's going to happen, but you're gonna you're going after this. You're manifesting it. It's a wish fulfillment. Why is the fool here? It's a higher level of commitment. There could be something that you're working on learning here. got the window open and so there's like a bug flew in okay so I'm seeing you cutting off a soul mate connection here making a head over heart decision you're holding up your sword to this connection it could even be a past life connection it's a deep soul mate connection because you're, it's, it's time for this to be broken. It's meant to be. For, it, there's a lesson here, which is why we have the Hierophant. There's something that you had to learn. And it may be to, to use your... your magic i'm saying it i'm saying the wrong thing here but to but to make something happen on your own there's something here that was meant for you a journey for you to go on on your own and this person was holding you back and then we have the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Ten of Cups. And the Three of Swords. I'm just seeing there could be a family or children here with the Ten of Cups showing up. But I'm seeing that someone made a decision to, to take this complete happiness, pure happiness, pure joy with the Ten of Cups. This is what everyone wants. Someone made a decision to cause pain and heartbreak and so i'm seeing you here very guarded up and defensive you're you're protecting yourself you're protecting your heart okay let me see what this person wants to say to you taurus Let me just shuffle the cards one time and get the energy going through here. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I am afraid to contact you. Cancer. I know that I crossed the line with you. Scorpio, I know we have a soul connection, Aries, I know you're watching me, 
Leo, you were the best thing in my life. Sagittarius, I love you. Aquarius, I do wish you well. Libra, I hope you're happy for me. Gemini, I wish you would come back. Taurus, we are not right for each other. Virgo, I understand you better now. Capricorn, my life is not as together as it seems. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I'm sorry. Okay. Let me just get you a couple of Moonology cards, Taurus, for advice. I'm just going to shuffle the cards one time. Okay, those kind kind of flying out of my hands. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? A fiery climax approaches. It's time to release negativity. And your dreams need a practical plan. And on the bottom of the deck, a win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, Taurus, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help. And thank you so much for being here with me, Taurus. I appreciate you guys so much more than you know. Thank you for all of your support and liking, subscribing, and being here with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Namaste.